Hello and welcome to the MedPrep video tutorial on cranial nerve examination. There are 12 cranial nerves as displayed here and they're numbered in the order that they leave the skull. In this tutorial we will consider the nerves individually or as small groups. To assess the olfactory nerve, ask the patient, have you had a change in your sense of smell or taste recently? No. Very good. For the optic nerve, we're going to assess visual acuity, visual fields, and then you would perform a fundoscopy. So for visual acuity, could I ask you to cover your right eye? And can you read as far down on that chart as possible? V, K, C, and R. Very good, and if you could do the same with the other eye? V, K, C, and R. Very good, and relax. And now, um, for visual fields you have to face the patient square on, so... Like this. Thanks. Now first, um, just look straight into my eyes, mm -hmm. and if you tell me uh, which one of my which side my fingers are moving on. Left, right. Very good. Right. Dave. Very good. And relax. And now, if you could cover your right eye, mm -hmm. and I'll cover mine as well. Mm -hmm. Looking at my eye, just tell me when you can see my fingers moving. Now. Yeah. Now. Very good. Now. Very good. Now. Very good. And you would do the same with the other eye. And then you perform the philosophy. Now for cranial nerves 3, 4 and 6, we're going to test the pupillary light reflexes, both direct and contralateral, the accommodation reflex, and then the function of the extraocular muscles. So for the direct uh, pupillary light reflex, could I just ask you to look into the distance? Um, I'm just going to shine the torch like so, and there you can see a slight constriction of the pupil, that was a normal direct light reflex. Next for the contralateral reflex uh, on this eye. And then just assessing the same. And it is present there, very good, just relax. Um, now for the accommodation reflex, can you look to the distance again? Mm -hmm. And now look at my finger. Very good and relaxed, there was a slight constriction there, that was a normal accommodation reflex. Now to test the extraocular muscles, can you just look at me and keep your head straight? Now follow the tip of my finger with your eyes without moving your head. Very good, keep following it. Do you have any double vision? No. Any blurred vision? No. Okay, just keep following. I'd like to know that there's no evident nystagmus, no squint or ptosis. Just keep following it. And relax, very good. Now we're going to assess the sensory components of the trigeminal nerve, the ophthalmic, maxillary, and mandibular divisions. Now first, uh, you can use a cotton wool ball, or if you don't have one, you can use your finger. Um, show the patient what it feels like. Can you feel that? Yeah. Very good. And um, could you close your eyes? Say yes when you can feel it. Yeah. Yes. 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 Very good. And open your eyes. Was that about the same on both sides? Yeah. Very good. Now we're going to assess the motor component. First, can you open your jaw against my hand and relax? Very good. And now I'm just going to feel the size of your jaw. Can you clench your teeth together? I'm feeling the patient's masseter muscles there. That's, that's fine. And again. And here I can feel temporalis. And relax. Now to assess the facial nerve, first can you raise your eyebrows? Very good and relax. Can you shut your eyes? Don't let me open them. Very good and open them. Can you show me your teeth? Very good. And can you puff your cheeks out? Don't let me blow any air out. Very good and relax. Now to assess the vestibular cochlear nerve, first ask the patient, please can you cover your right ear for me? I'm going to whisper a number in your other ear, can you repeat it? 21. Very good, same with the other ear. 15. Very good and relax. And now there are two tests you perform with the tuning fork. The first is Rinny's test and the second is Weber's. For Rinny's, strike the tuning fork. Can you hear that? Yeah. And hold it against the mastoid process, like so. Can you hear that? Yeah. And which was louder, the first or the second? The first. Very good. And the same on the other ear. Can you hear that? Yep. 
Yep. Yep. And which was louder? The first. Very good. And relax. Now for Weber's test, um, hold the tuning fork on the vertex of the skull, like so. Now is that louder in one ear, or is it about the same? It's about the same. Very good. And relax. Now we're going to test the vagus nerve and glossopharyngeal nerve together. First, can you say A E I O U? A E I O U. Very good. Now, can you open your mouth? Um, say R. Uh, now you can see normal elevation of the soft palate and no deviation of the uvula. To assess the spinal accessory nerve, first ask the patient, um, please, can you shrug your shoulders? Don't let me press them down. Very good and relax. Now, can you turn your head towards my hand? Great, and same on the other side. Very good, and relax. To assess the hypoglossal nerve, ask the patient if they can stick their tongue straight out, like so. And you can note there's no deviation, no fasciculation or wasting, and relax. Now can you push it uh, in the inside of your cheek, don't let me press it in. Very good, same on the other side. Very good, and relax, and this concludes our examination.